okay so welcome back to the next lecture video so in our previous two lectures we have seen how to optimize small organic molecules and to get a converged geometry and we have also interpreted the optimization results now we are going to visualize the molecular orbitals by using the checkpoint file but we have to remember that the checkpoint file with extension .chk can't be read in many systems that's why we need to use the formatted checkpoint file with extension dot fch as you can see here it might also have the extension with dot fchk here you can see so this is actually your formatted checkpoint file which you can make by giving appropriate command so now let's see how to visualize the mo for this we need the gauss view software and then we have to open this formatted checkpoint file while opening this formatted checkpoint file please ensure that the files of type should be gaussian files with extension .djf .com .log .out .fch .chk .gfrq etc and your read intermediate geometries optimization should be unchecked this time so that once you open this formatted checkpoint file you open with the final geometry now once you open this final geometry as you can see that this is the optimized structure you can directly go to this icon this mo editor so once you click on this this will open another window giving you the emos so you can see here this emos are listed here and the highlighted one one is your highest occupied molecular orbital that is homo and the another one which is highlighted that is lowest unoccupied molecular orbital that is lumo now how to visualize the mo so you have this visualize tab here okay and for this purpose you need to go to this first tab this new gaussian mos and now you have to use this method load mos from existing chk or fchk file then you have to load this formatted checkpoint file so you can change here this type gaussian formatted checkpoint file so this will appear here you can select it and then open it and then you can basically load it so once you load it this mos will be updated okay so now if you go to this visualize tab you can give you this update so your it will generate mo cubes 
and once it generate MOQs, you will get the MOs over here with the selected MOs. So this is your HOMO, highest occupied molecular orbital. And you can see this is your LUMO. So you can change this ISO value, adjust the ISO value to get the lobes at your wish. So once you change the ISO value, you update it again. So you can just change the coefficients of HOMO and LUMO accordingly. Okay. But what these colors indicate? For this, you can go here, this file, and go to preferences. So here preferences, you see this color column. You can go to the surface color. So you can see this red is actually positive diffuse or ambient. And if you go here, it will see you this uh, green one is your negative diffuse ambient. So this is actually default settings. You can also change the color. So here we have learned how to visualize the HOMO and LUMO. And you can see also these values. So this is the energy of the HOMO and this is the energy of the LUMO in hat tree, you can convert it into electron volt by multiplying it with 27.212. So that will give you the values of energies of HOMO and LUMO in electron volt. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching.